Are you someone who has a yearning to start your own business? Do you want the freedom and the ability to have fun at work every day, but you don't have a large startup budget? Then the perfect business for you may be a frozen yogurt truck business. This business is recession-proof, mobile, and it just makes people happy. You could say it's a triple threat among many business ideas. Here are some things to consider when starting this kind of business. You might have guessed that the biggest expense of an ice cream truck business is, well, the truck. You can purchase a new truck, a used truck, or even trick out your own wheels to accommodate your business. Some things to think of when shopping for your truck are the size. Make sure it's big enough to hold all of your equipment and inventory and you. If you're purchasing a used ice cream truck, you not only want to check under the hood as you would a regular vehicle, but you want to check out the size and condition of the freezer in back. How old is it and has it required any repairs in the past? Also, ask the current owner about gas mileage as well. You'll need to factor gas in with your budget. Also, expect to pay for permits and special licensing and insurance for your business, as well as other equipment and decorations. One of the greatest benefits of this business model is that you don't have to advertise like a traditional business. That famous little jingle you play as you drive up and down streets is about the only advertisement you'll need to have people of all ages come running. Having said this, you should do some research before you open for business and find out what are the most profitable neighborhoods and times of day to drive through them. Another benefit is you won't have the same kind of competition as you would in, say, a storefront scenario. When you're this mobile and you find there's another truck driving around the same streets, you simply need to head for greener pastures. Unless you live in a climate that's always hot, you'll no doubt realize that your business is going to slow way down in the winter months. This is why it's a good idea to think of your business as a hybrid and incorporate other food ideas like a coffee or hot chocolate and donut truck in the months where people aren't clamoring for a double dip cone. With a little bit of thought and planning, you can start your own successful frozen yogurt truck business and bring joy and delicious calories to people all over your town. For more information on starting your own frozen yogurt business or to find the right equipment, please visit frozenyogurtmachines.com.